In this video, we're going to have a look at an exam question on velocity time graphs. So it says a particle travels in a straight line during the time interval t between 0 and 12 seconds, where t is the time in seconds. Figure 1 is the velocity time graph for the motion. So part 1 says calculate the acceleration of the particle in the interval 0 to 6. So acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. And in this context, the rate of change of velocity is the gradient of a graph. So we've got a velocity time graph, velocity on the y-axis, time on the x-axis. Acceleration is the rate of change or gradient. So we've got two points here. What we're going to do is find the y difference over the x difference. So it's going down. So the y difference is negative 15. So negative 15. And the x difference we can see is 6. So negative 15 over 6. Negative 15 divided, oh, negative 15 divided by 6 is minus 2.5 meters per second squared the unit's important as is the negative sign so now it said calculate the distance traveled by the particle from t equals naught to t equals four well in this context the distance traveled uh, to get from velocity to displacement we need to integrate integration finds the area between the curve or in this case the line and the x-axis so what we need to do is find this area here between t equals naught and t equals four. So find the area of that triangle. Well, the height of the triangle is 10. We can see 10 here. And the x distance is four. Don't know if you can hear the police siren in the background, but that's what you get living on the mean streets of York. Part two. So a half times the base, which is four, times the height, which is 10, equals 20 meters. So it's traveled 20 meters in the first four seconds. Part three. When T equals naught, the particle is at A. Calculate how close the particle gets to A during the interval 4 to 12. So we've just discovered in the previous part that at par, at t equals 4, which is, I'll do it in a different colour, which is there, it's 20 metres away from point A. So at, uh, at t equals 0, it's at A, 4 seconds later. It's 20 metres away. So this area under the graph here indicates negative displacement because the area is beneath the x-axis. Therefore, the red area indicates that the particle's moving back towards A. So we find out the area in this region here. We'll find out how much closer it's got back towards A before it starts moving back away from A again. So again, we'll find the area of this triangle. So the base goes from four to nine, which is five. The height, we can see is minus five. So a half times five times minus five is minus 12.5 meters. That is displaced. Therefore, 20 take 12.5. 7.5 meters and we're done because the particle starts moving away from A again after this point we can see that the area the displacement is positive therefore this must be the closest that it gets for more videos like this go to a or subscribe to our YouTube channel